All right, hey everybody, my name is George Hartman. I'm the owner and uh, inventor of the Easy Chalk at EasyChalk.com. And uh, what we wanted to do was come up with a way to secure our bikes without having the need to drill a bunch of holes in the trailers and the trucks and the toy haulers. We haul, myself and my friends, haul bikes in the back of our pickup. We put it on a trailer, just like you see here. It's an open bed trailer. Uh, no straps, no holes, nothing in it. We're gonna go to, go to the truck and the toy hauler that you see in the background. We're gonna show you how the Easy Chalk works because that's the biggest thing is everyone wants to know you know, how does this thing work? This is a paradigm shift in how wheel chocks are, have been seen in the past. Normally you have to drill holes and mount it and the bike has to go where the chalk is instead of your chalk going where your bike is. So we're gonna show you all the different ways of how to use the easy chalk without having to mount it or bolt it down to any trailer. We have a three and a half inch uh, easy chalk that's for the dirt bikes right now. Simply take it out of the box and it's ready to go. What we did is we designed it with this, with this patent pending pan and tab strapping design that allows us to just set it down in place, roll the bike in and strap it in. It's that simple. We've got a three and a half inch for the dirt bikes and a five and a half inch for the sport bikes and into the V-twins. So again, all we're going to do is take this out of the box, set it down in place and strap it in. Okay, so what we have is we have two different size chocks and what we're going to do now is demonstrate how each one works with a sport bike and a dirt bike. And the first thing that I want to do is I want to set my rear straps in place. So I'm going to go ahead and just hook them up to the tab here. I'm going to set spot any place on the, on the trailer since we're doing an open trailer here. I'm going to do a second one here and run it back to the D-ring. Once I've got that set, I want to go ahead and snug those up so that once I run the bike up, it's going to give it a nice snug, snug approach there. So that's the one for the street bike. All right, so once we have the strap set for the, for, uh, the rear straps, that, that way we can just run the bikes in. We're going to want to set the four straps for the handlebars, and we're ready to roll the bikes in. All right, so nice and easy. Roll that sucker in there. Grab our strap. Easy Once we have her in place, we're going to go ahead and tighten, just tighten up and snug up those handlebars, and you're good to go. Once you bring the bike in and you actually get it into place, go ahead and utilize your kickstand so that you can set your straps and you can do this all by yourself. Now, of course, every bike's going to be different on how you exactly, you know, chalk them, whether you're doing the handlebars or, or down here from the forks. But now what we're going to do is snug this, snug this up. And again, I'm doing this all by myself. So again, we never claim to have a stand, it's just a chalk for transportation. But once we get that baby in place and snug it down, we're ready to go. Take a look at that. Okay, now that we got all four bikes loaded, you can see that this particular trailer doesn't have a D-ring in the middle and the back. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna improvise. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take two straps because we wanna make sure that these two chocks stay together now, again, I can use the patent pending tabs that are on here, and I can run a strap between the two of them. Now, that's going to hold those nice and together. Go ahead and put one right up here on the top bar. Run it across to the other side. We tighten that thing up, and now this thing is not going to go anywhere, and it's going to stay right tight and nice together. And now we are ready to roll. All right, so now once we're done, we got all four bikes loaded again. We got two dirt bikes, we got a street bike, we got a V twin that's on here. They're all easy chalked in. We're gonna go ahead and close the door and hit the road. Hit it up. See you later. www.easychalk.com. Get yours today. Again, the easy chocks out of the box and ready to go. No hardware required. So, real simple. No drilling, no hardware, no mounting. Set the easy chock in place, connect the back strap for the emergency in case you have to really hit the brakes, and strap the bike into the easy chock. Go roll, have fun, and ride safe.